In this lesson, we'll be reviewing long division, meeting the requirements for TEKS 5-3-C. In a long division problem, there are three critical parts. Here are their names. The number being divided, say 4,128, is called the dividend, and it is inside the house. The number doing the dividing, say the number 4, is known as the divisor, and it sits outside the house. And finally, the solution to our division problem is known as the quotient, and in this case, that would be 1,032. The dividend, divisor, and quotient are the three critical parts of a long division problem. When performing long division, there's a helpful mnemonic you may choose to use. Now, a mnemonic is just a device or a tool used to remind you of steps in a process. The mnemonic that we'll use here is the phrase, Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Now, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers is useful to us because the first letter in each of those words matches the first letter in the five steps to the long division process. So, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers matches the five steps in our process of divide, multiply, subtract, compare, and bring down. In this example, we'll be dividing the dividend of 4,128 by a divisor of 4. So we begin by dividing the first step in our five-step process using the mnemonic, Does McDonald's Sell Cheeseburgers? So how many times can I subtract 4 from 4? Or how many groups of 4 can I make from 4? And it appears the answer is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. And when I subtract that, that leaves me with zero. I compare that to my divisor, and it is less, so that's excellent. We bring down the one. We go back to the dividing step. How many groups of four can I make from one? Or how many times can I subtract four from one? Well, I can't, so this is zero. Zero times four is 0. 1 minus 0 leaves me with 1. I compare 1 to 4. It is less. That's excellent. And I bring down the 2. Now I have how many groups of 4 can I make from 12? Or how many times can I subtract 4 from 12? 3. 3 times 4 is 12. When I subtract 12 from 12, I get 0. 0 is less than 4. That's excellent. So I bring down the 8. How many times can I subtract 4 from 8? Or how many groups of 4 can I make from 8? The answer would be 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. 0 is less than 4. When I get to the step of bringing down, I realize I'm out of numbers with 0 remaining. So therefore, I'm finished. My quotient for this problem is 1,032. So, 4,128 divided by 4 would give me a quotient of 1,032. In this example, we have a dividend of 40,050 inside the house and a two-digit divisor of 15 outside the house. We're going to use the long division process to find the quotient. 
the quotient is the solution to a division problem. And here we're going to use our mnemonic of does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers to remind us of the steps in the long division process. D for divide, then M for multiply, S for subtract, C for compare, and B for bring down. So step one is divide. Can we divide 4 by 15? How many times can I subtract 15 from 4? How many groups of 15 can I make from 4? And the answer is, I can't. So I now move to the second digit, where the number now becomes 40. How many times can I subtract 15 from 40? Or how many groups of 15 can I make from 40? And the answer is 2. Step 2 is to multiply. 15 times 2 is 30. Step 3 is subtract. I have 10. I now need to compare my 10 to the divisor of 15. I always want to be less than the divisor. If I'm more... That means the number at the top of the house should have been larger. So now I have 10, which is less than 15, which takes me to the final step of bring down. I bring down the next zero to form the number 100. And I go back to the first step. I'm dividing 100 by 15. How many groups of 15 can I make from 100? Or how many times can I subtract 15 from 100? And the answer is 6. I multiply 15 times 6, which is 90. I then subtract 100 minus 90, which gives me 10. I compare my 10 to the divisor of 15, and I'm less. That's awesome. Which means I bring down the 5 making the number 105, and go back to step one. How many groups of 15 can I make from 105? Or how many times can I subtract 15 from 105? The answer is 7. I then multiply 15 times 7, which gives me exactly 105. When I subtract 105 from 105, I get 0. When I compare that 0 to 15, I am less, which allows me to bring down the last digit in my dividend of 0. I go back to step 1. How many groups of 15 can I make from 0? Or how many times can I subtract 15 from 0? And the answer is 0 times. When I multiply 15 times 0, I get 0. When I subtract 0 from 0, I get 0. When I compare 0 to 15, I am less. And when I go to bring down, there is nothing left to bring down. I have 0 remainder and no more digits in my dividend to bring down my solution or quotient is 2,670. 40,050 divided by 15 is 2,670. In this last example, I'm going to show you how we deal with remainders differently in middle school than you did in elementary school. So if we divide our dividend of 921 by our divisor of 12, the first thing we're going to try and do is see how many times we can subtract 12 from 9, or how many groups of 12 I can make from 9. And the answer is none. Well, how about 92? I think I can make 7 groups of 12 from 92. 12 times 7 is 84. When I subtract 84 from 92, I get 8. When I compare 8 to 12, 8 is less than 12. That's excellent. 
I bring down the one. How many groups of 12 can I make from 81? Well, if seven groups made 84, let's try six. Six times 12 is 72. And when we subtract 72 from 81, we get nine. Now, when we compare nine to 12, we're excellent because nine is less than 12. Now, in elementary school, you would have simply written, because there's no more numbers to bring down, remainder nine, and you'd be finished. But in middle school, we're not going to use remainders. So here's what you would do instead. Your first choice would be to take the remainder of nine and write it as a numerator and your divisor of 12 and write it as a denominator, 76 and 9 twelfths. And since we can simplify 9 twelfths by 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, our simplified quotient would be 76 and 3 fourths. This is an acceptable middle school answer, 76 and 3 fourths. Now, one other alternative would be if you didn't want to use fractions, you could instead use a decimal. And so let me show you how we would solve this using decimals instead of fractions. So the first thing we would do would be to put a decimal at the end of 921 and push it to the top of the house. Add a zero after the decimal. It doesn't change the value of 921, but it does now give us something to bring down. So instead of 9, we have 90. How many groups of 12 can I make from 90? Well, we know 7 groups is 84. Let's try that. 7 times 12, 84. When we subtract 84 from 90, we get 6. And when I compare 6 to 12, 6 is less. That's excellent. Once again, we have a remainder. We're simply going to add another 0 at the end of our dividend, so that now we have a number to bring down to make 6, 60. How many groups of 12 can I make from 60? I believe the answer is 5. 5 times 12 is 60. And when we subtract 60 from 60, we have 0, no remainder. We are finished. Our quotient is 76.75 or the fraction equivalent, which was 76 and 3 fourths. Now let's review today's lesson. We spoke about long division, something you already know about. We reminded you the three critical parts are the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. That there's a mnemonic we can use to remind us of the steps involved in long division. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? for divide, multiply, subtract, compare, and bring down. We even went through a few examples to include one that showed you how to deal with remainders differently in middle school than the way you did in elementary school.